to peel away the surface, to deepen the process of making portraits, to photograph one's personal past, and to make the invisible visible. As a photographer silenced by 2020, I am re-emerging to find new ways to photograph people. I've invited three women to open up themselves to me through discussing a common topic, hair, and through sharing these stories about their lives, I realize we are all wandering in this journey to find a better version of ourselves. The first thing people notice about me, not just colleagues, like everybody, is my hair. It's like my trademark. If I'm on a bad hair day, I just feel like it's not myself. I don't want to go out, maybe tie up, hide, hide away, and get over with the day. Colleagues were gossiping about me. Oh, do you notice this new girl from the other department with big hair? And they named me DJ Girl. Because you look wild and you look like you party a lot. So that was my nickname, DJ Girl. They will assume that you spend so much time on your hair, you focus on your hair, so you must not be using your brain to do work. Over time, I just stopped explaining myself to them. I'm not wild, I don't think I'm wild, and I don't really party a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm doing research. I'm just normal, normal. It's just that I like that my hand stands up in the crowd. Younger, my mom asked me to uh, join the temporary nun hood in Myanmar, just like three days, five days, seven days. But you need to really shave your head. It's a way of doing good deeds, good, get good karma. There are so many ways to good, take, get good karma. You can donate away all my pocket money. You can donate away everything. I'm never gonna like shave my head. I know hair will grow back, but how long do you have to endure to have? 
your hair grown back over my dead body. <laughs> Not as long as I'm alive. <laughs> After high school, I started rebonding the hair. I think during that time, it was like a trend. Everybody has like straight hairs. So I had straight hair for about four or five years. Because I started it already, I couldn't stop it. But you have to wait until all your straight hair are grown out. So I didn't want this like transition to be painful. So I just keep rebonding, keep rebonding. I know it's damaging, but I just don't know how to get out of it. My teenage crush, the actress, I wanted her hair. She has a very cute bob straight hair. If you cut the curly hair super short and maybe without layers, it will just look like this. So it was like this. Well, every time she bring me to hair salon to have a haircut, we will just be arguing on our way home. It will reach to a point where I'm crying and screaming and she will be like saying, I'd rather walk into the tiger's mouth than bring you to hair salon. Because I will be literally pulling my hair and saying, I hate this hair, I hate this haircut. I also just assume that mm, I'm ugly. When I come to Singapore, then I like you're more uh, exposed to internet and you saw YouTube. Curly hair is actually quite nice. At one point, I just decided that I want back my curly hair. I go and Google best stylist <laughs> for natural curls. <laughs> and I have to read all the Reddit blogs and all, you know. And then I visited Chester. It's also the way he cut it, like layer it or whatnot. I just started loving it. Once or twice, just random ladies at MRT station. Where do you cut your hair? Or where do you perm your hair? Like, mm, Maybe my mom is not right. I look at myself, actually I'm not that ugly, not as ugly as my mom said I am.
you should learn to embrace what you have instead of trying to change or trying to um, force your hair into something that you cannot achieve and try to like something that you can never get. But I should have just learned to love it at the first place. But instead, I go and like the straight hair so much and try to like force it. But I didn't really get any happiness out of it or satisfaction. I rejoice at the fact that I like my natural hair now. Then I no, no longer need to battle with my bad hair constantly, which is like all my childhood and half my adulthood already. So once I changed back to my own hair, I felt like totally completely me. You know, it's my hair, naturally. Hair, straight or curly, blonde or black, has the power to reflect our personalities. The human psyche is an ongoing process, just like the challenge of making portraits. It doesn't always have to tell the truth, since I realize truths are always changing.